Growing older can be very challenging and humbling. But if you ask somebody that's my age or older, they're going to tell you that the most difficult aspect of the aging process is to find enough candles for your birthday cake. That can be very stressful. I'm turning 53 this year. I do not have 53 candles, not even close. Um, the only alternative I seem to come up with is to go Roman. Of course, I've got plenty of Roman candles. These aren't exactly M80s, but they'll do. Now, I don't want to light these one at a time. So, how do I light them all at once? I should probably take my own advice. Whenever little kids ask me how to set fires, I usually tell them, get a flammable aerosol accelerant and a barbecue lighter. It usually works pretty well. Why did I bring my cake outside? No reason. It's just a nice, quiet, peaceful day in my quiet Florida neighborhood. And uh, the people around here will understand because most of them are retired. Maybe they need more candles than I do. Now all I gotta do is make a wish. Done. And I light the candles. My cake's going up fast. There must not have been enough asbestos in the cake recipe. I bought it at Walmart. It was probably made in China. It's obviously defective. Walmart's pretty good at accepting returns. I'll take it back for a refund. So that was 53 firecrackers. Can you imagine if they lived to be 100? I think next year I'll express my age in redwood tree years. In the same way that people express their dog's age in human years. If I'm still alive a year from now, I'll be 54. That would be like being 1,350 years old if I was a redwood tree. I think I need to stock up on firecrackers. I love the smell of birthday cake in the morning. It smells like vanilla. This has been a Broken Balloon production.